Hi everyone, Erin here again today. Um, when I was at the show in Houston about a month and a half ago, Shannon Green and I made this little mini flip book and we left it in the booth for, at Canvas Core. And I really wanted to recreate that. I kind of had fun playing with it. So I was digging through my stash of all my things and we had made it out of, I want to say about this size of envelope, but this is what I had on hand. Um, what I had is I had three of these medium size envelopes. These all came from Canvas Core and a whole bunch of these little mini envelopes. They're all in a craft paper and then I only had one large one. I decided to go with craft because it would go well with whatever I put on there. And then I'm also just gonna use a craft binding. I will use a ton of mists and colors and things so they may end up getting colored as they go along, but this is gonna be the base of it. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold. This is gonna be the outer section of my book. I think I wanna have the pocket be in the front so I can slide things in. And then the rest of my book is gonna go in this space right here. Um, I may change the fold. So that way it's a little bit, I mean, you can fold it however you want. Yeah, I think I like this better. And I'm not too worried about if it's got spots, like this one's got a spot too, because it's gonna get covered up. Um, I then went through and I kind of folded some of these other pieces and they're gonna all just get tacked in here. And I'm not gonna lay them all straight in the middle. I'm gonna alternate. And then I have all these, so this is how our book is gonna lay. So some of the pages may end up getting stuck out. Like I said, some of them will have the facing forward. And these are just going to be the pages that we're going to work with. Now I have all these fun little pockets. I'm going to lay them in. I'm just going to lay them in two at a time. And this time I think I'm going to have them all facing forward. And I'm going to stagger them as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting probably two ties. One tie here and one tie here. I may end up doing three just to keep everything really bound together. And I'm going to tie them with this. So I'm going to keep on folding and speed this up.
Here's my finished little book. I kind of had some fun playing with something on the end here. Just kept playing with knots and bringing back my old friendship bracelet knot things on the end and just kind of created something cool. I might add some things later on, maybe some dangly charms or something on the end. And so again, the largest envelope is kind of the cover for, and the binding for the book. Or not binding, but the cover. Um, you have a little pocket here that you can put stuff and then you have spaces on either side. And then I'd put two little envelopes in between the medium size envelopes. So I kept on layering it. So I went two and then I had one. And I can easily add stuff to the little flap here too, which is kind of fun. And I had another two and then a one. And then again, a little flap. Another two, and then the one, and then another two, and then the back. Um, I tried not to make it too terribly tight, so that way I had room to kind of play with flipping the flipping it open. I don't know if I'm going to go with a flip book that's going to go this direction, or if I'm going to go this direction, or this direction, I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Please come back and check out what I do with next on part two of the series, and how I'm going to mist and add all the fun cards. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon.